Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very unique and a special knife from Buck Knives and uh, that's a Buck 40 onset. What makes this knife special is that firstly it's a titanium uh, frame lock, something we don't really see often from Buck Knives and it's got a nice beautiful gorgeous stainless steel blade. I'll show you that in a minute but before we do that let's go through the specs really quickly. The overall length on the knife is 20.7 centimeters uh, close length or handle length is 12 centimeters and blade length is 8.7 centimeters and it weights about 136 grams which is um, you know really lightweight for a knife of this size uh, on the flats as you see you've got this beautiful brush finish satin um, and on the bevels as you see there um, let's get the camera to focus you've got this nicely blue anodized uh, bevels uh, it's a kind of subtle a matte blue which creates a beautiful contrast against the spine of the blade and also uh, the handle itself. I really like that. Uh, looks great. Fantastic job anodizing there. Um, so a few things I really like about the knife. Uh, one being these countersunk uh, body screws. Um, they really sit nice inside the handle. They don't stick out too much. They feel flat to the touch. And then you've got these little two screws there to cover the uh, holes from the ambidextrous pocket clip. Pocket clips are obviously on the other side, but if you decide to put it around, uh, you can fix it on this side and use these two little screws to cover the holes on the other side. And then let's go to the other side. You have your lock side with a lock bar, obviously. Stainless is still insert. Um, uh, you've got titanium lock bar stabilizer, anodizing blue. Uh, this is a kind of uh, standard in high-end pocket knives today, uh, you know, to have some sort of stabilizer. Your pocket clip there is also um, titanium, blue anodized, same colors as, as the rest of the knife. The design flows beautifully. The pocket clip is really nice. Um, it's got these uh, tube spaces to lift it up a little bit. And what that does is that if you have thicker material on your pocket, this will still give you a beautiful, nice ride in the pocket. And uh, it carries deep. Yeah, there's not much of the knife sticking out from your pocket, if that's something you prefer. One other cool feature about the knife is that the da uh, back spacer is also made from damask steel. Wow, that's, uh, that's a cool feature to have there. Um, damask steel on the back spacer is awesome. Uh, you can't get any better than that. It's expensive material, and unless you buy a custom knife, you, you don't really get damaged steel back spacer. So a great job, Buck Knives, to uh, have the back spacer made from uh, damaged steel. It's nicely milled out and polished and etched, and it creates a uh, nice uh, contrast with the rest of the handle, and and uh, goes well with the blade. Um, I really like it. Uh, you can't get any better than that. Um, so let's show you the blade as well. Uh, I know you've been waiting to see that. So here you go That's your DS 93x pattern damage steel. It looks beautiful. I don't really have to explain that you can see it for yourself um, It looks great on the other side uh, You have a limited edition laser inscribed into the blade and then right below that you have the serial number and this particular one is number 76 of 250, obviously only 250 pieces made. Um, damage steel, guys, if you've never had a damage steel blade before, just get one. I guarantee you fall in love with it. It's the most beautiful steel you can ever get your hands on. There's no better than damage steel uh, when it comes to aesthetics. It's just gorgeous. So let's talk about the fit and finish on the knife. Um, everything is uh, handcrafted here, um, or maybe I should say hand finished, because obviously parts have been made uh, using CNC machine or water jet or whatnot, but all the final touches and fit and finishing is done by hand. Things like uh, grinding the bevels and sharpening, anodizing, putting that brush finish on, this, uh, on the handle and uh, the fitting of the parts. It's all done by hand, so it's great to know that there's a lot of care and craftsmanship and skills been put into making each one of these knives the way they are. Uh, really great job there. Uh, the knife is flawless, as I said, I can't pick anything from it. The only one thing I wanted to mention is that, like a lot of other knives that I've seen from Buck knives, the detent is a little bit soft. 
Um, uh, Bucknell, for some reason, they prefer to have the detents on the softer side. Um, obviously, the knife run on uh, runs on bearing washers, so deployment is uh, fast and smooth. There's no issues there. But some people prefer to have that hard detent that will give you the fast firing, fast shooting uh, deployment action. Some people don't. It's just a matter of personal preference. I like the faster kind of action. I like the blades to shoot at. Uh, fast and quick some people don't like to apply too much pressure on the flipper you know it, like I said it's just up to you totally so what happens if you press the flipper the blade will deploy but not fully so it comes out a little bit and then even if you push it hard it comes out a little bit more but it doesn't fully deploy uh, the way to fix that is uh, simply by adjusting the way you flip so all you have to do is to uh, light switch it and bang the blade comes out really fast so it's not really hard um, instead of pressing on the flipper and pushing it back all you have to do is just light switch it and there you go it deploys nice and smooth and as fast as you like every single time and you notice that it's very smooth because the soft detent and the bearing washers gives you that buttery smooth uh, action that you, you, you like to see and um, you know, with a bit of practice, you get a hang of it and you, you, you're going to love the, the way the knife deploys. So before we finish, let me quickly show you the presentation box. Uh, it's a Bach Knives limited edition box. Uh, it's a little bit different with the normal box. And let's have a quick look at what's inside the box. Uh, you've got the box famous forever warranty. It's one of the best warranties out there. You can't beat that. Then you've got this little leaflet provided by Damasteel. It just uh, uh, shows you what Damasteel is and how it's made. Have a read of that if you want. And there you've got your certificate of authenticity uh, signed by CJ Buck, the president and the CEO. And it's got the serial number on it, obviously. Uh, let's get that out of the way. That was the review of Buck 40 on set limited edition with Bama Steel Blade. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and thanks again for watching. Have a great day.